Being the fourth largest air force in the world, IAF operates different varieties of fighters starting from heavy to lightweight class. As the rival Chinese Air Force started manufacturing of its own fifth-gen fighter J-20, IAF is in hurry to acquire such type of advanced jets which can counter this move. IAF has been in love with French birds since decades due to the experience of handling and making combat maneuver. That's why it opted to buy Rafale over Typhoon. But the rise in cost forced Gov of India to buy only 36 jets. Imagine, if you will, a single fighter aircraft. That fighter aircraft needs to fulfill multiple roles, in multiple services. This includes, but not limited to, air superiority, ground attack and reconnaissance. This fighter must also have a carrier variant. This single fighter type will make up the majority of the fighter fleet and must serve as a tireless workhorse. The Sukhoi, HAL 5th Generation Fighter Aircraft FGFA, is a fifth generation fighter being developed by India and Russia. It is a derivative project from the PAKFA. T-50 is the prototype, being developed for the Russian Air Force. The completed FGFA will include a total of 43 improvements over the T-50, including stealth, super cruise, advanced sensors, networking and combat avionics. It is a multi-rural fighter designed for air superiority and attack roles. The fighter is planned to have super cruise, stealth, super maneuverability, and advanced avionics to overcome the prior generation of fighter aircraft as well as ground and maritime defenses. Reports from Moscow coming that the pak project may collapse due to the lack of Russian interest in the pak project. Russians pushed Indians to sign the R&D contract which valued some $6 billion. What are the options if FGFA collapsed? These two fighters represent that ideal. Both the F-35 and the Rafale epitomize the multi rural fighter type. These aircraft are true jack-of-all raids following in the footsteps of aircraft like the F-4 Phantom II. The JSF takes things a couple of steps further by adding stealth and a Stavlo variant, both of which have proven to be controversial additions. Despite their similar design goals, these aircraft are extremely different, not only in design, but their construction and the very philosophy behind them. The F-35 is a multinational effort with investors, and potential buyers, from all over the world. Parts from the F-35 will be built all over the globe. This was done as a deliberate attempt to lower costs and promote investment into the program. In contrast, the Rafale was designed and built in France. All of its various component systems, including engines, radar, sensors, U-suite, and most of its weapons are all sourced from France. This was done as a deliberate attempt to keep French defense and aerospace firms on the cutting edge. Maybe F-35 is better but there is lot technical problems with it and that is reason why it is not in use. F-35 is stealth plane and that is main and only a vintage one compared to a fail. Both planes use same AM and AGM missiles and their radars are on same level, so only a vintage is easier detection of target due stealth technology. Technology. In close one-on-one -on -one fight F-35 don't have chance against Rafale. Rafale is more agile, has better thrust to weight ratio and has lot more chance to win. F-35 can only win if attack Rafale before it detect threat. F-35 RCS is lot lower than Rafale, so in 90% cases Rafale will not see F-3% Rafale is better proven aircraft. Enjoy this video, please do, comment, like. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel.